Hey, everybody, we are back at it here at Gulfstream Park, kicking off our latest week this summer here in the middle of July. Jason Blewett, happy to have you with us on the broadcast here on this Wednesday edition of Thoroughbred Action. Sun was shining as we kicked off a 10-race Wednesday card. We were fast, we were firm. Pretty nice day for this time of the year in South Florida, and we'll get it going. A uh, bulky cast of three and up Philly Mare 12 5 maiden claimers in race number one. They will meet on the turf at five furlongs, and we go up the track and ask for Pete Aiello for the call as we start the new week. And they're out the post. Racing at Gulfstream. Down at the inside, our little devil begins nicely at the rail. Our wild child is quick to begin. She'll try to hold inside ground and race toward the top. Away in third is Make a Mint outside and more diamonds from between horses. That's uh, Trini Flower. Then it's a gap of a half a length back to Fury Song. Two better than Sanba racing with Renee's in heaven. Then Miranda Sophia and Say Bye Bye. Fury Song is trying to improve now into fourth as our wild child has made the lead. Our wild child to the top of the stretch leads our little devil by half a length. More diamonds is now third. Fury Song is back to fourth. Make a Mint is next, trying to run home from the back. Renee's in heaven, then Sanba and Miranda Sophia. Less than a quarter of a mile to go. Up front, our wild child set down for the drive by Sammy Camacho. On top by two, our little devil. Right back at her second. More Diamonds is now third. Sixteenth to go, and our wild child will debut a winner. Our wild child is in front. Our little devil is second. More Diamonds is third, then Miranda Sophia and Fury Song. the center, World Gone Wild, the first to get underway. Missing Link driving through at the inside. Dial of Ladies in orderly third. Masha Shagana moves up on the outside to claim third, then back to World, or Stormy Jess. The big favorite here is toward the back of the group, acting lucky together with Melanie's Pride and Shakem as World Gone Wild is in front. Less than three-eighths to run. World Gone Wild held together by Jaramillo and works on a two-length lead. Missing Link is second. Mashugana is now third. Stormy Jess is a driven fourth. Back to Acting Lucky, who's in tight between. And better than eight lengths off the lead with only the short stretch to work with. Less than a quarter of a mile to go. World Gone Wild leads now by three. Missing Link is still second. Mashugana putting her hat into the ring down the center from third. She's gaining a bit of ground. Final 16th of a mile. World Gone Wild leads by two and a half. Mashugana gains ground late. Does Mashugana have enough time? Here's Mashugana in time and she's 45 to 1. No problem. Run happy standing at Claiborne Farm. And they're off. Hurt was slow to go. 
Aficionado was quick to go and moves out for the early advantage. Queen Field has speed, so does a beautiful day. These three are quickest. Miss My Macho's an early fourth up on the outside, Ocala. Then an unhurried interest to second last, and after blowing the break, Pert is last of all in the charge to the first turn. With the rail in the lead, it's Queen Field on top a length and a half from Aficionado who races from second. A beautiful day is now third, three wide, fourth, Miss My Macho. Interest is nearest the inside, and neck behind her is Ocala, and the trailer is Pert. So the leader, Queen Field, tries to back it down mid-race as she won an opening quarter in 24-1, and one, and a beautiful day keeps her company from the outside second. Panici pocketed up on Aficionado, third at the inside. Miss My Macho in the clear on the outside, fourth length and a half in front of interest. Then Ocala and Pertz at the back. No change in the plot here, half a mile from home, and a Queen Field in front through a 49 and one half mile. Rios has done a good job rating her on the top end, and she bids to make all. Beautiful day is second, Aficionado holds ground toward the rail third. Miss My Macho fourth while three wide. Then it's a gap of two to Ocala, who's tacking on for Zayas. Interest needs to do better than that, and the trailer is pert. They run to the top of the stretch. Here comes the run from a beautiful day after Queen Field. Miss My Macho three wide. Aficionado needs out from behind the heels of the top three. Up on the outside in Ocala, less than a quarter of a mile to go. A beautiful day, striding forward to take the lead. Aficionado trying to charge at her from the outside and a Miss My Macho. Final 16th of a mile, a beautiful day. Still finding, she's seven to one and she's home a winner. A beautiful day by a length and a half. Aficionado was second, third was interest, fourth was Miss My Macho. Sophisticurl, one of the first to begin. Frankly, my dear, away with speed. Nearest the inside, raining sunshine on the go. Nissa comes away in the top flight. She's in early fourth. Splitting horses in battle cry. On heels was Mangrove Mama. Naval Wave is three wide, four wide, and Whistler Dixie. The two at the back causing a hullabaloo and Gulf Coast Gal. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Frankly, my dear, saved the rail and now has a narrow lead. Sophisticurl is right alongside second. Nissa's and now third. Naval Wave on the outside is there fourth, two better than Battle Cry, who's a ridden fifth. Whistler Dixie gets started on her outside. A length and a half to Raining Sunshine, then two more to Causing a Hullabaloo. Mangrove Mama's at the back with Gulf Coast Cal, and we're a quarter of a mile from home. 22 and four for the opening quarter. Frankly, my dear, and Sophisticurl, they continue to battle. Sharp move from the inside from Raining Sunshine. She's into the clear and on the attack. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. Raining Sunshine starts to gain on Sophisticurl, and frankly, my dear, frankly, my dear, digging deep. Sophisticurl right alongside. Sophisticurl, frankly, my dear, Sophisticurl, back for more. Sophisticurl beat, frankly, my dear, with Raining Sunshine third in 105 and 3. clean and level beginning. Our Ninja JK springs out for the early advantage at the inside, our private jet. Tried to keep up, but he'll have to tap on the brakes as Chamberlain beats him to the rail out wide and get the money, Bernie. Then back to the outside, and just because I feel like it, Reno Animo is next, followed by American Phenom. And after being with the leaders at the start, our private jet has dropped all the way back to last, and he's a long way behind now as they round the far turn. Our Ninja JK has the lead. Get the money, Bernie on the outside second. Chamberlain is there third. On from fourth, just because I feel like it. 
it, then Reno Animo. Back at the rail, an American Phenom, and still last a long way, our private jet. So the favorites with plenty of work to do as they turn in. Up on the outside, get the money, Bernie, challenging our Ninja JK for the top. Get the money, Bernie, pins his ears and collars on the leader, our Ninja JK. American Phenom running home a ton from the back. He's charging, he might get second, but he can't reach. Get the money, Bernie. Get the money, Bernie, to win it. American Phenom did get second. Our Ninja JK was third and 57 and one. Marching in, blew the start two lengths. Good start for Tipsy again, who's reached out for a clear advantage already and leads a length and a half. Driven through at the rail, Ms. Chaplin alongside She's One Mad Mama. Then the trio of City Bike, Miss Mac, and Chicky the Gray. And after a messy getaway, the trailer is marching in. Half a mile from home, Tipsy again with the advantage a length and a half. City Bike second, Miss Mac moves up three wide to claim third at the rail. Fourth is Ms. Chaplin. Backing off as She's One Mad Mama, then Chicky the Gray, and marching in at the back. 22 and 2 for an aggressive opening quarter, and it's Edgar Zayas and Tipsy again. 5 16ths from home and a length and a half in front. Miss Mack tries to bridge the gap into second. City Bike is back to third. Ms. Chaplin is on from fourth. Trying to run home from the back is Chicky the Gray, less than a quarter of a mile to go. It's Tipsy again, who comes off the turn, leading by two and a half. Toward the inside, City Bike alongside Ms. Mack, then Ms. Chaplin from the rail and marching in. Final 16th of a mile, and it's still Tipsy again, but she's getting a bit wobbly. Here's City Bike taking her shot. City Bike lifting under Ronnie Allen Jr. And City Bike is in time. It's very close for second, but I think Tipsy again holds off Ms. Chaplin in 105 and 4. away quickly from an outside draw farther out and sublime appeal moving up nearest the inside Totono is put into play these three are quickest mozo bello is together with over the channel out wide on the course goes rhythmia next and a bit keen is till the end while third last second last is super courage and the trailer is the stretch runner unlock the potential in the run to the first turn Totono and azrael square off and azrael gains the upper hand and leads a length and a half Totono backs off to be second. The gray over the channel saves ground to take third from Sublime Appeal in fourth. On from fifth and Mozo Bello. And then Rhythmia to the outside. Till the end is nearest the inside. Super Courage is on heels and tugging while second last. And the trailer is unlocked. The potential. The opening quarter was 23 and 2. Down the back stretch they go. Front end respect for Azrael. He leads by two. Racing in second position is over the channel. Back to third to Tono. Up on the outside and sublime appeal. Mozo Bello watching the move of over the channel. Three wide in Rhythmia. Then till the end in super courage and unlock the potentials at the back. The pace starts to quicken as they swing to the far turn. They're separated by seven lengths. Azrael is still the target. Over the channel has traveled well into the race, and he's only a neck behind. Racing third while three wide is Sublime Appeal, then Mozo Bello and Totono. Getting started wide is Rhythmia, then two back to Till the End, followed out wide by Super Courage. Unlock the potential is not kicked in at all, and they're at the top of the stretch. Over the channel, strides forward to take the lead. Azrael is back to second, down the center. Rhythmia with Till the End. Final eighth of a mile over.
over the channel. He leads by a length and a half. Rhythmy has gained second till the end on the outside, charging late, but they can't reach over the channel who's in front. Second is Rhythmy, a third is till the end. Closer for fourth, maybe Azrael hung on in 140 and four. And they're off. At the rail, Deckology quick to get underway and immediately goes to a clear advantage. Where you go and Owen together with a rushing up Robin's blind deal. Down at the inside is the Spider splitting horses. Poppy's Destiny into that top flight as well was Eternal Cross. Beaten for speed, where you go and Owen storm the bridge is mid flight while on hold. And the one with no speed is steadily. The speed on display is Deckology and Jaramillo on top to the far eternal length and a half. Poppy's destiny from between horses. The spider is along the rail. Three wide and Robin's blind deal. Two in front of Storm the Bridge. On his outside, an eternal cross. Then where are you going, Owen? And the big joker. And Steadily's at the back. Around the far turn they go. Deckology threatens to throw the knockout blow early on here. He opens a six-length lead now. The others are stretched out toward the inside. That's the elite run from Steadily. He's looking for some place to go. Down at the rail and Storm the Bridge. Less than a quarter of a mile to go. Deckology wheels off the turn. Still well clear. He's better than eight in front. From the outside, Robin's blind deal. Steadily angles to the clear. Storm the Bridge is toward the rail. But as they come home for the wire, Deckology is all by himself. It's Deckology for Pro Race stable under Amisael Jaramillo, a well-clear winner. They won by six in the end. Steadily is second. I think Storm the Bridge gets Robin's blind deal for third, then Poppy's destiny. Ready for the Wednesday feature. All set. And they're off. This My Times brings out to head for the advantage. Are you royalty put into play at the rail and sonar? Here's the favorite Lori Loopies making it a party four across the course. Cajun Denied is next, then Gina's Gem, and True Atka is at the back of the field as the pace is contested and quick up front. Are you royalty from between horses has a narrow lead. Three wide this my time. Sonar toward the rail. Lori Loopy is getting ready to move up now. She's four wide on the outside. Back to Gina's gem from fifth. Then True Adka and Cajun Delight as they round the far turn. 22 and one for a drilled opening quarter. Lori Loopy's waits no longer. She strides forward now and opens three. Sonar is second, this my time third. Genus Gem claims fourth. Are you royalty is back to fifth, then true Atka and Cajun Delight with a quarter of a mile left to get. Lori Loopies comes away with the lead. Sonar back for more second, back to third. Genus Gem, then this my time. 45 seconds flat for the opening half mile, and Sonar's not done trying. In fact, Sonar's on even terms. Now Sonar might have a neck in front. Sonar does have a neck in front. Lori Loopies has to fight back. Sonar and Lori Loopies, Sonar for the lead. Sonar Sonar for the money. Sonar and a 17 to 1 upset. Lori Loopies was second. Third was this my time then. Gina's Jim.
From the center, the gray starship Mufasa wins the break, immediately tackled by Dramatic Kitten, who's put into play. In tight between is Alparis, moving out the rail mighty fast. Four across the course early, as you know, the drill tries to work over. Powers between horses, Cats Me at Noon is nearest the inside, Fuego's out widest. Then back to Future Prince, racing a length in front of Time for Trouble. He's second last, and there's one not keeping up at all early, and that's the trailer case Funhouse. 24 and 4 for the opening quarter as they bend into the backstretch. Al Paris has the lead. Dramatic Kitten up alongside second. Mighty Fast is third. Power is tugging. He's already on the bit. Power. He's now third, three wide. Starship Mufasa is next, then Cats Me at Noon, and you know the drill. Future Prince nearest the inside. From between horses, time for trouble gets started. About five or six lengths behind. Fuego is three deep, and then it's a big gap to the trailer. K's Funhouse. 49 and 1 for the opening half mile. They're inside half a mile from home. Dramatic Kitten now has a neck advantage. Al Paris battles back second. Power is three wide, but he's on the go from third. Starship Mufasa is there fourth. Time for trouble is a driven fifth. Two better than a retreating mighty fast. Then future Prince and Fuego as they round the far turn. Al Paris and Dramatic Kitten, they've done each other no favors. Starship Mufasa looks to tip and roll. He's on the go from third. Power's fourth. Time for trouble next toward the rail. Three quarters, 113 flat. Off the turn with Al Paris putting away Dramatic Kitten. Time for Trouble is on the scene with a rail run down the center in Starship Mufasa. Final 16th of a mile. The cream is rising to the top, and it's Time for Trouble who takes over the lead. And on the major class drop, Time for Trouble wins by four in the end. Starship Mufasa second, Al Paris third, then Power and Future Prince. And that'll do it for today's 10 race card. We are not racing here tomorrow afternoon. We're back at it this coming Friday, a nine race Friday, in fact, and that is July the 17th. Regular start time at 12.05 Eastern. And don't forget, that's also a day we have the $100,000 guaranteed Stronic 5. Two races from Gulfstream Park in the mix. We'll see you then. Good night.